Welcome to episode three of the Milkweed and Monarch Project. In this episode, we will see monarchs in and around the garden and look for signs of monarch eggs. So I'm standing by some native flowers here and flowers like these will attract monarchs as well as having the host plant to lay eggs. So it's important not only to have milkweed, but to have other flowers that will attract them to eat. And Ali's garden also has the beautiful uh, pond over there, which is a good source of water and an extra added bonus for the monarchs. Monarchs will visit the garden to lay eggs on milkweed, but it is also important to offer sources of food. Monarchs like nectar plants, like thistles, asters, echinacea, joe pieweed, blazing stars, and many more. Monarchs will still visit your milkweed without additional food sources, but having native flowers will help both monarchs and other pollinators. Monarchs like to lay eggs on young, fresh milkweed more often than older, established milkweed. This is because monarch caterpillars prefer to eat green, healthy milkweed. By the late season, it might be hard to find fresh milkweed. In my yard, I found the most eggs on common milkweed, but I also saw eggs on swamp milkweed and butterfly weed. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to look for eggs on milkweed. Um, they are really, really small. So I start looking kind of at the top. They can be on the top of the leaf or the bottom of the leaf. You can see this has like a lot of other bug activity on it. I don't see any eggs. They're kind of like white, round shapes. Like that looks like it could be one, but it's not. So sometimes you'll get tricked. <laughs> sometimes the butterflies will lay eggs on immature milkweed. So this is kind of a more mature milkweed. Um, it has the flowers coming in. A single female monarch can lay 400 to 500 eggs in her lifetime. Monarchs spread the eggs out between plants to provide sufficient food. Though in recent years, monarchs have been seen laying more than one egg on a single plant, probably due to habitat loss. The egg is laid underneath the leaf, on top of the leaf, or even on flowers. The eggs are small, about the size of a pinhead, and are off-white or yellow, with vertical ridges on the shell. In the wild, only about 10% of monarch eggs make it to maturity. In nature, monarch eggs and caterpillars have predators such as ants, spiders, wasps, and even flies. The decline in monarch populations has recently increased the number of citizen scientists, or people who raise, tag, and collect data on monarchs. If you decide to raise monarchs, conservationists recommend that you only collect eggs locally. To store an egg, harvest the leaf and place a damp paper towel in a storage container. Check back every day for activity. It usually takes about four days for an egg to hatch. This begins the long journey of transformation for the monarch, which we will explore later in episode four. <laughs>